What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So for today's app script episode, we will be trying out something very interesting, which is using app script as a website monitoring tool. So website monitoring tool is basically a function that allows you to identify the health status or connectivity of your website whether it's online or offline so we'll be using that uh, through google apps script and without further ado let's check it out all right guys so to start off our uh, web monitoring app script journey first of all we need to have a spreadsheet set up Okay, as you can see, I already have mine. And please, guys, make sure you follow exactly as it is, structure-wise. So the first one we have is the website name. Then we have the website URL. So this is for the websites sheet. Then we have another sheet called logs, L-O-G-S, okay, logs where we have date, website, status code, and load time. Okay. So once we have all this set up, can, uh, as usual, we can head on to app script. Okay. So I have a script which I have named as WebI. Okay. You can name it to any name that you like. But you can use this code, which I'll be providing to you guys in the description down below. Okay. So I have provided a set of functions ready, which is the monitoring, setting up, and where we have the website and the site address. Okay. So each of these functions have their own behaviors I provided. Okay. So once you have pasted the script, as usual, save the project and run. Okay. So once you have run and um, provided the permissions required, you'll be prompted to do so. You can head on back to your spreadsheet. Okay. Now you will see a custom menu called website monitor. Okay. You can, first of all, add the website, okay? Uh, setup monitoring is where you will in initiate the triggering, okay? So once you click on setup monitoring, it will create a trigger for your script. As you can see, here's mine. And of course, when you edit it out, you can set the interval. So I have mine by the hour. So you can change this according to your liking. So let's say, for example, we have the interval for every hour, which means whatever uh, website that we have uh, listed here will be uh, monitored on the hourly basis. Okay. So let's give this a try. If I were to add a website, it will ask me to enter the website name. Okay. And URL separated by a comma so let's try one let's say the website name is aris azhar which is my website and the url is arisazahar.com so there has to be a comma in between so the first part is the website name and the second part is the url so i click on ok there you go you can see now I have my website name on column A and on column B is the URL. Now, once I have this ready, the trigger will monitor this for every hour. Uh, another way you can do is to click on check websites now if you want to do it on demand. So we'll be doing this right now so that you can see. So if I click on check websites now and I go to logs, there you go. So it will show you the website that's being monitored, the status code, 
So static status code uh, has its um, uh, different meaning. So uh, 403 is forbidden, 200 is where you are able to connect and the load time is in uh, MS. So you should be able to see the availability of your website on hourly basis. Uh, if you were to try, let's say, a website, a different website, let's say Reddit. So Reddit is known to have a uh, functionality that blocks the permission. So by right, I should be getting a error. But let's tr give it a try anyway. So if I say check websites now. There you go. So it should be fine. So the status code enables, means I'm able to monitor my website and reddit.com. And you can add more uh, sites to your liking so that you will be able to monitor the avail availability of the website. Now, I won't be able to show you exactly, but let's give it a try anyway. Let's say we put S and test, test, test dot S dot com. So it should be a fake website. Okay. So that's 403 for Reddit. Okay. It's still running for tests, I would assume. Means it's not able to find. That's why it's taking longer. But it's fine. What I'm trying to show you here is if there is a different status code besides 200, such as 403, which is forbidden, uh, you will be receiving an email, okay, as shown on screen. So the email here states that it is unable to connect to the website. So, so please, this is not really a good sample to use. There you go. So you have error. Okay. So even with error itself, uh, you should be. Let's try and see. Okay. So I, I receive an email to say website may be down on this particular time. So the URL test 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 com may be down. Expected response code 200 but got error instead. So this is similar to the one we have with Reddit. Okay. So expected response code is 200 but got 403 instead. So yeah. So this is uh, error code 403 means it's forbidden due to maybe there's a security setup for bots and all that for Reddit. But since it's not my website, so yeah, it's understandable. So yeah, guys, give this a try today and you can start to monitor your own websites, okay? It's uh, advisable to monitor your own since you have full control over it. And give this a try. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so that you'll find more contents like this in the future. I'm Aris Azahar. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And speaking of next video, don't forget to drop a comment uh, on what you would like to see for the next video. So till then, take care. Bye-bye.